Ukraine says its troops have recaptured three villages from Russian forces in the southeast, its first gain since launching a much-anticipated counteroffensive. Footage on social media, not yet verified by the BBC, shows troops hoisting the Ukrainian flag in the neighbouring settlements of Blahodotne and Nyaskuchne in the Donetsk region. Kyiv's deputy defence minister said nearby Marakivka was also taken. This comes just one day after President Zelensky confirmed that the counteroffensive had begun. Well, we can now speak to our correspondent, Miney Jones, who's in Kyiv. Miney, what's the latest that you're hearing in Kyiv? Yeah, so besides those three settlements that you already mentioned, Regini, uh, the Deputy Defence Minister here in Ukraine has now announced that a fourth settlement uh, has also been taken nearby. It has a population of about 500 people. So uh, these uh, four settlements combined uh, have relatively small populations. I think it's under 2,000 between the four of them. But I think that the Ukrainian authorities are keen to show that, you know, now that they've officially said that the counteroffensive has started, they're making gains already, they're regaining territory. But I think uh, a note of caution to mention there is that the territory they are regaining does have very small population so far. So it's only the beginning of this push to regain territory from Russian forces. Only the beginning. We're also hearing reports of another dam that has been destroyed. That's according to the Ukrainians. Yes, they're claiming that another dam in the Zaporizhia region has been destroyed. Obviously, this follows uh, the destruction of uh, the major Kakovka dam last Tuesday, um, which caused so much devastation. Uh, Ukrainian authorities saying that 4,000 people there have already been evacuated. And it's a rescue a mission that's still on the way. Just yesterday, uh, the Ukrainian forces were saying that as a boat carrying civilians was fleeing the flooded area, the Russian forces opened fire on them, causing the death of three people and causing 10 people to be injured. So uh, a dangerous evacuation mission still happening in one part of the country. And now another dam uh, potentially has been targeted by uh, the Russians, according to the Ukrainians. I think uh, what the Ukrainians are saying is that Russian forces are targeting infrastructure like dams to try and stop the advance of Ukrainian forces. But they will very much be wanting to focus on the fighting rather than on evacuation missions. You talk about focusing on the fighting. There's been a lot of conversation in recent weeks about the fighting in the east in Bakhmut. Uh, do we have any more updates from there? Absolutely. Uh, Ukrainian authorities are saying that that's where they're going to be concentrating a lot of their energies in the coming days, focusing on the embattled city of Bakhmut. Uh, it's a shell of what it once was. A lot of it has been destroyed in the fighting there earlier this year. But it's a symbolic one, I think, for the Ukrainian and the Russian forces to show that they have control of it, uh, would show that they are uh, have a strong presence in the east of the country. For the Ukrainians, it would show that they're successfully pushing Russian forces back. So that's why they're focusing their uh, energies on that area.